Hello, 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 and welcome to Lunch Break with Shell. I'd like to thank you so very much for joining me today for this edition of Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I can be found on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram under Stamp with Shell. I can be found on Pinterest under Shell Loves to Stamp. I blog daily at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com and I can be reached by email at andersonshell at gmail.com. If you live in Canada and do not have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, you can contact me at any of the ways I just mentioned. Um, also note that I have weekly workshop orders that go in Monday morning at 9 a.m. Okay, that's the business end of it. Now we're going to get on to the fun end of it with today's card. Today I'm featuring a brand new stamp set coming in the January to June mini catalog. It is called In the Moment and it is a standalone stamp set, meaning that it has no dies or punch that coordinate with it. Um, it is found on page 57 of the new catalog and this is a cling stamp set so that's a red rubber with the cling on the back all right also today i am featuring the new butterflies and flowers masks this is a new set of masks that comes out in this catalog as well i'm just going to flip through them so you can see how beautiful they are there's one two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so we're going to be using those as well. We are going to be using, oops, let me get these back in here. As well, we're going to be using some embossing paste. Now, when I opened my white embossing paste, it was all dried out and hard. My fault, I did not have the cover on tight and I did not have it in a Ziploc bag. So that's the tip of the day, my friends. Make sure that you have your lid on tight and put also put it in a Ziploc bag. I need to order new white embossing paste. So for today's card, I had to use um, silver which is the only other thing that I had and I used some polish pink reinker. we're going to need some washi tape some memento black ink and <clears throat> we're going to need a silicone mat some paper snips um, a uh, I just drew a blank what is this called um, <laughs> a tool for mixing and spreading your paste. <laughs> okay, um, we have these in the catalog. This one is old as Methuselah, as you can tell. The ones that we have in the catalog are plastic. Um, and your silicone mat, because we've got to keep the mess contained. Now, I've done a little bit of pre-work, pre-prep work on this card because of the embossing paste. So our card base today is going to be mint macaron. Our matte layer is going to be basic black. And I took a piece of basic white and I put the mask over, mixed up my paste. Now this is a mixture of silver with five drops of the polished pink reinker. And it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I messed up on this corner, but I have come up with a plan to fix that. And then I have pre-stamped this image so that this was nice and dry for us to be able to color on. So I am going to grab, I'm just going to slide this out of the way for a moment. And <clears throat> I'm going to bring in a piece of paper so that I can use my blends. I don't want to wreck my desktop any more than it already is. And in this set, there are three gorgeous images and some great greetings. 
this one here was sitting with a cup of coffee or tea looking out the window then we're in bed with the dog reading a book and then we're sitting looks like to me either on a deck or looking out over the ocean with a glass of wine love 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 this set so i'm going to start off first with petal pink and i am going to use that for her face this is light petal pink and her hand all right now i have some light if i get the cover off it light misty moonlight and i'm going to do her jeans with this This is my first card with this set. I originally was going to do the embossing paste live, but I like to keep my video shorter because I know a lot of you are watching these on your lunch hour. So I don't want them to be too long and drawn out. All right. I might come back to that once I figure out what's what. For her hair, I've chosen light crumb cake. And for Fido here, we're going to use light and dark um, gray granite. There we go. And we're going to use the dark on his face and ears just to give him a little bit of contrast here. He looks pretty happy snuggled in there. All right. Maybe we'll use a little bit of that in the top of the cup. Now. I am going to do, I'm going to use the other end, and I'm going to do pink blankets on this bed. And there's really no rhyme or reason as to how I'm doing this. I'm just lopping on some color and I see that I missed a spot or two with the blue for the inside of the pants there we go now we need her socks to be mint macaron. And we need a different color for her book. Let's bring in some so saffron for her book. And her coffee cup. 
Mm, what color? What color? I don't know. Let's go. Actually, I'm going to stay and go with the jade for her coffee cup. All right. Now, the pillows behind her head are also going to be pink. I think she's got this one too as a pillow. Or we're going to say it is anyway. Looks like a pillow to me. And then the rest of it looks to me like she's wrapped in a blanket. I missed a leg here on Fido. All right. Gonna go over his face and ears again. All right, so I'm gonna go with light mint macaron for the blanket. I think I'll use the opposite end. Just like so. I don't have my big head in the camera here. And then we're going to have blanket. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. can't say I'm real happy with Fido, so I think I'm going to bring in some Smoky Slate and change up his color. He was looking a little pale for my liking. go. I'm happier with that. Now I'm going to grab my paper snips and we're going to cut this out. I'm just going to make it a little wiggly where there's no black lines there from the stamp. Get this cut out. And once I get this cut out, I'm going to show you a trick that I do when I cut out an image. And yes, it's because I'm just a little OCD. There we go. a pretty easy image to cut out. Nothing too difficult. Turning our paper is the easiest way to have nice smooth transition lines. Here we go. All right. I'm going to set that down and get rid of this trash. Now, if I find, where did I put it? There it is. This is my trick. I don't like those white cut marks. 
so I always, after fussy cutting an image, will take a black marker. Now you can use a stamp and blend, you can use a stamp and write marker, you can use a sharpie, you can use whatever you want. But I think you'll see that it's going to look much better. Check that out. And you see how it finished that edge that didn't have any black because I just colored that? That's my little trick. All right. We're ready, my friends, to put this card together. Oops, maybe. I am going to fold and score this card base. And I'm going to grab a piece of basic white. And we're going to put this on the inside of our card. So that we have a nice place to write our greeting. We're just going to center that up and close the card. Then we're going to take this beautiful, beautiful, I love how this turned out. It's like a sparkly pink. We're going to take this and we're going to put Tombow on the back of this. And I'm going to be very generous because I want this to stick and stick well. And once again, we're going to center that up on our mat. And I'm just going to turn this over, and give it a back rub until that sets up. There we have it. Now this is going to go on here, and I think I'm going to glue it flat. I don't think I'm going to put it on dimensionals. I think flat is the way to go. Once again, we'll just slide that into place and hold it. Now, you'll notice that down here in this corner, I messed up. And how I did this, I'm going to explain how I did this. I laid my, my paper down on a silicone mat. Then I put my mask over top and I used washi tape to tape it to the mat. Then I mixed up my paste and I put my paste through the mat, or through the mat onto the cardstock. But I worked it too long and there's actually a tear here. You can't really see it. It just looks like a smudge, but there's a tear here because when I took my mask off, it was already starting to set up a little bit and I tore it and smudged it. So when you're working with embossing paste, you have to work really quickly and you have to put your tools in water and clean them up right away. You can't leave them. All right. See how that's going to make a beautiful backdrop for that? love it love it love it but I am wondering if I shouldn't change that color a little bit I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go from the light to the dark so that it matches the cardstock a little better I'm gonna flip over to the other end This is the dark mint macaron now, instead of the light that I went with initially. I think that light was just a little bit too light. There we go. I think that might look better. Let's pop this on here and have a look. Oh yes, I like that better. And as that alcohol dries, that's going to lighten up just a little bit anyway. So I took one of these from the many messages tags, and I don't know whether you can see it, as I took the light mint macaron marker and I went around it just to set it off a little bit. 
And my plan is that I'm going to mat it on this black layer that I just cut and then rounded the corners and I'm going to pop it right down here and cover up that mess. Now, the, the greeting from this stamp set says, sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. Well, that's what this looks like to me is relaxation. What I did is I stamped that and tried to fussy cut it. Now, I am going to try, I don't know if this is going to work, but I figured I would do this live and you will see if it works or if it doesn't. I have a backup if this doesn't work. I've stamped another greeting, but I'd like to use this one and hope this works. And the reason that I fussy cut this is because this greeting is a little bit big for that um, the size of the tag that I'm using but I think I'm hoping that I can make it work So I'm just going around the edges. And filling in as best I can. And this is my plan. The mat, this, and the relax over top. What do you think? I think it's going to be okay. Or should we just forget the relax and just just a card to say hello? I think I like this one. So I'm going to go for it. I am going to go for it. I'm just going to put some dots of Tombow on here. And hopefully... Look at that. And then on here, layer that on that little mat that I made. Hopefully straight. <laughs> there we go. And centered. All right. So that's going to be able to fill right in there. And this one here, I'm going to pop up on some dimensionals. So I will grab some of those and flip this piece over. And we'll get some dimensionals on there. I'm going to be very generous here because I want this well supported and well stuck because of um, all the paste that's on here. And we'll just use up the rest of these little bits and pieces on here. We're just going to pop this in place right like so. And then this guy is going to go flat down to cover up that little oops in the bottom corner. Just like so. Now I've taken this little heart and I really don't think I have any place to put it there so I'm just going to put it on the inside of the card. This was also from the tag die set. I just put it in there at the bottom. 
and there we have it and we're going to let the background shine in this card um really it, to put any more embellishment on there i don't think you could put anything on there that would uh, make it any prettier than it already is to be honest this is beautiful i hope you can see all that shimmer and, and shine and it's very simple on the inside but that leaves us room to write our greeting all right my friends that is the in the moment stamp set that is coming in january page 57 of the new mini catalog thanks so very much for joining me and i will see you back here mondays wednesdays and fridays at noon central standard time thanks bye, -bye.